Cumberland County deputies are the latest law enforcement officers in the state to wear body cameras. So last summer, Cumberland County commissioners approved $4 million for those cameras to get them installed and put in place. CBS 17's Justin Moore explains what county leaders are hoping it shows the community. Back to the Armed with body cameras. So whenever a deputy gets out on scene, they press the button, it starts recording, and it will record until the deputy stops. Sergeant Mickey Locklear is the public information officer for Cumberland yes, County uh, Sheriff's Office. He says 95% of deputies in the county, including school resource officers, have to wear these while on duty. The deputy gets on scene and activates it. It not only shows the general public side, but also for accountability for the deputy. Cumberland County Commissioners approved the purchase of 350 body cams for deputies. Fedville Police Department already uses them. Some people believe the cameras keep officers accountable for their actions. I thank you for doing this story because it's been so many years that we've been requesting this. We have went to the county commissioners meeting. Kathy Gretz with Fedville Police Accountability Community Task Force says the organization has been pushing for body cams since the death of Adrian Roberts. A Cumberland County deputy shot and killed the 37-year-old while serving an involuntary commitment order nearly three years ago. Even though families are still able to re review footage, is the footage tampered with? How does that look? Sergeant Locklear says deputies are required to have the cams on any time they interact with people. Different reasons. If there's traffic stops, they'll turn it on for that. Um, if it's a domestic, uh, any any time they think there's going to be an interaction with the public, whether it's negative, positive, they're supposed to um, they cut that on. The, the only deputies not wearing body cams are those who are on leave and not actively working. 